Hey y'all, Rig Fearless Fairless, Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punch Wally Garage. Good morning. How you doing? You alright? Today is Wednesday, February 21st, 2024, year of our Lord. This is season number two, episode number 52. And today we are going to talk about hip huggers, Lily Munster, and baseball. Let's go. In my life, the 366 Project, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine goes back to 1974. In 1974, my brother and I were 17 and 18 years old. We were juniors in high school, and uh, we lived in Irving. Uh, I've always lived in Irving, and we attended MacArthur High School. So do you remember how in high school, first of all, it's kind of hard to remember all that, but if you remember in high school, Things that were important to you back then, you look at them now and you think, what? What? Why was that a thing? One of those things was there were some pants that were all the rage in school and they were called red snaps. So red snaps were hip huggers that were super low cut super tight but they had big bell bottoms on the bottom and what made them so unique is they were bright colors red yellow orange green blue and I don't really know why that they were the rage and boys and girls both wore them I wore them. I don't know why I wore them, but I wore them. But the only place in town you could get red snaps were Porter's Army and Navy over on Irving Boulevard. And they are still there. As a matter of fact, I took my grandson there a few months ago. He and I went to lunch, and, and I said, I want to take you to a, a, a rite of passage. I want to take you to Porter's Army and Navy. It is an Irving, Texas tradition. So I took him in there, and uh, he liked it. I've always liked it. But I don't know why they were selling hip huggers in the Army and Navy store in the 70s. But it's pretty cool. I went to California for a while that sophomore year. And uh, I was wearing my red snaps and they thought I was crazy. They hadn't seen anything like it. Big bells at the bottom. I mean, it covered your shoes. Remember those days? File that into what were we thinking department. Let's check that truck. Check that truck, you big old... Ooh, hey, look at that, man. What you got there, Fairless? Well, I don't like to brag, but check this out. So these are some camo Chuck Taylor hot top, red stitching. You've got your multicolored Converse Chuck Taylor All-Star logo. Black toe, black sole. Red and blue racing stripes, two bent holes, black shoe strings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. Hmm. These are, say it with me, y'all, these are some handsome chucks. That's true, I can't lie about it, they are some handsome chucks. Red snaps. They didn't even have snaps. They had those button, those uh, 
you know, the things with the slit on one side and you tucked it in there. Yogiism, in baseball, you don't know nothing. Southern slang, he's busier than a one-legged man in a butt-kicking contest. I've heard that forever and I've never cared for it. So why don't you use it on the show? I don't know, maybe I'm running out of things to use. Check that internet. Okay. Dad joke. Do you know why cats can't play poker in the jungle? Too many cheetahs. Have you checked out the Phoenix Insurance yet? That's the company that I work with. You can Google them, The Phoenix Insurance out of Dallas. They are a good sized company. They are in 38 states. They have over 50 different insurance companies that they work with. And they can give you the best option. Now this is what these guys do for a living every single day and they are extremely good at what they do. So whether you're talking about homeowner's insurance or automobile, motorcycle insurance, business insurance, these are the guys. So check them out. My parts department, we have a million dollars worth of parts in stock. And it's not just the, the regular parts that uh, most shops would have. We have a lot of custom parts in stock too. So if you need parts for your motorcycle, we make deals. We would love to talk to you. Stroker Dallas Merch, MERCH.com. It's where I have my apparel line. I'd like for you to check that out. I would appreciate it if you bought something from us. If you're looking for a motorcycle, strokersdallas.com. We have a lot of cool motorcycles on the floor. If you buy a motorcycle from us, we make a big deal about it. We show you around the place. You become part of our Strokers Dallas family. Get off the couch, a motivational minute. Sometimes people who don't socialize aren't antisocial, they just have no tolerance for fake people. What does that mean, Mr. Fairless? That means sometimes you just as happy to get out of work and go home and watch TV instead of going and being with people you don't want to be with. Sometimes you just want to be with your wife and your dogs. I'm that guy. I'm not a big going out guy. So, you do what makes you happy. As long as you ain't hurting anybody else, you make you happy. Okay, I'm going to leave you with this. You know, we all know the Munsters. And you remember Grandpa? And Grandpa's daughter was Lily Munster, who was married to Herman, right? Did you know that Al Lewis, who played Grandpa on the Munsters, was only 41 years old when that show premiered? And Lily, who played his daughter, was 42 years old. Lily Munster was six months older than Grandpa her dad on the show. And that, boys and girls, was the rest of the story. Yvonne DiCarlo played Lily, and Al Lewis played Grandpa. And DiCarlo was a pretty famous actress. And, you know, that show only ran for two years, but it was an awesome show. All right, Rick Fearless Fairless. I got to go. I got a lot of work to do today. I appreciate you coming to see me. Love you, bye. Hey, this weekend's going to be great. Y'all come out. I'll see you tomorrow.